Hi, and welcome to Cool Gadgets and Stuff. Building a new home comes with a lot of decision making, and choosing the right construction system can be a difficult one. Building technologies continuously improve, and in today's video we're going to explore some innovative building systems that you may not be familiar with, but are worth checking out. This is our seventh video on building systems, so be sure to check out our home building playlist as well. Polycare has developed a unique building system consisting of special polymer concrete blocks and a unique modular assembly system, or MASS for short, designed to make building a house as simple and fast as possible. The blocks have an interlocking design that fits together perfectly and does not need to be mortared or glued together. All building physics standards are achieved with a friction lock bond for permanent use or a corresponding screw connection for temporary construction. There are a total of five different blocks, with which any straight wall configuration can be easily erected. A range of other components like window and door lintels make the system complete, allowing for the construction of complex buildings. The blocks are made by fusing sand and resin in a chemical process to produce polymer concrete. Polycare blocks have exceptional physical properties and are suited for long-term use. They do not require plaster or paint for protection, but they can be applied if desired. The polymer concrete shell of the block accounts for 20% of the volume and gives it structural rigidity. The core is filled with insulation material. For the insulation of pipes, there is an additional block. Electric power cables can be led through every poly block vertically or through the additional block horizontally. With a polycare mass kit, anyone can build their own house without the use of heavy machinery. Smaller houses can be stacked up in a couple of days. Blocks can also be dismantled and reused for later construction, making this system economical and sustainable. The company is also developing a software named PolyBuilder that lets you transfer every building into the structure of the polyblock building system. The result is a list of all required blocks and parts, as well as the editable visualization of the building and the colored construction plan. The company aims to build sustainable and economical housing using local forces and existing natural materials according to the modular construction principles. Hundreds of homes in Namibia have already been constructed using polyblocks. Plastic pollution is one of the biggest challenges we're facing today, the majority of it ending up in landfills, waterways, and oceans where it has severely adverse effects on the ecosystem and the wildlife. One company has found a way to use discarded plastic bottles and transform them into a building material. JD Composites, also known as Ecoplast Solutions, from Canada, specializes in building housing using structural insulated panels made of 100% recycled plastic bottles. The composite panels are made by shredding and heating plastic bottles to form plastic pellets and then placing these pellets through an extruding process to create foam core. This foam core is then bonded with laminate resin, forming incredibly rigid and durable panels that are about 6 inches in thickness. Another thin fiberglass layer is added on both sides for protection, and UV-resistant paint is applied as well. These panels are an all-in-one product, eliminating the need for framing, separate insulation, siding, and shingles. Panels are impermeable to water and moisture absorption, meaning no degradation of structural and insulation properties. According to the company, they have an R value of 30, suitable for cold climates, and no thermal bridging, common in standard wood construction. Panels are designed and cut in the factory, and then delivered and assembled on site. Assembly can be completed in a matter of days. The interior is finished with traditional materials, such as drywall. The company has already completed a number of projects. One of them is a 2,000 square foot prototype house in Nova Scotia. The company's vision is to make the switch from the linear use and dispose economy to a circular model based on recycling and sustainability. In Colombia, a company is turning byproducts from the coffee industry into a viable building material. Woodpecker from Bogota is combining ground coffee husks with polymer plastic to create a lightweight and strong construction material that the company is calling WPC, or Wood Plastic Composite. This engineered building material is fireproof, durable, pest resistant, and is built to withstand moisture without any exterior finish needed. 
The company buys the husk from coffee mills located all over Colombia, which would otherwise be discarded as it is a no-use material. The same is true with the plastic polymer they use. Being sourced from the local plastic recycling programs, making Woodpecker WPC an eco-conscious product. A decade in the works, the company first started researching and developing this material in association with the local university, looking for a material that could be strong enough to be used in construction, yet light enough to be transported easily in rural areas, where traditional materials such as bricks, cement, and concrete are difficult to supply due to challenging infrastructure. After experimenting with different natural fibers, they ultimately landed on coffee husks due to them being stronger and drier than other fibers tested, and its local abundance. Coffee also has a huge economic and cultural significance in Colombia. In the factory, the material is made into an interlocking shape, allowing for easy assembly on site, with no special tools needed. Woodpecker is selling the material wholesale in Colombia and elsewhere. They also sell prefab houses, costing as little as $4,500, that can be simply assembled on site. Coming in different sizes, they consist of a steel frame and Woodpecker WPC walls, floors, and front decking. Because of the low price point and simple installation, the Colombian government used Woodpecker housing to help locals recover after Hurricane Iota in November of 2020. One of the goals of the company is to provide low-income housing and social infrastructure for Colombia's impoverished areas. WikiHouse is an open-source construction system that lets anyone design, manufacture, and assemble high-performance homes on their own. The premise of the WikiHouse project is to democratize design and construction to benefit the wider public. All the design files are under Creative Commons license and can be downloaded freely from the online library and customized using SketchUp modeling software. Puzzle-like structural plywood pieces are cut out with a CNC router and assembled on site. The cutouts snap together with wedge and peg connections, and the frame can be rapidly assembled, even by people with no formal training in construction. The frame is finished with cladding, insulation, wiring, and plumbing before it can be inhabited. Unlike many traditional manufactured building systems, WikiHouse doesn't require a large centralized factory. Components can be manufactured from the digital files right at a local CNC workshop. The WikiHouse framework can be disassembled and readily reused as well, another advantage when it comes to sustainability. WikiHouse is developed by a community of designers and engineers. All the information and files are freely shared for anyone to use and improve. However, they are provided as is, without warranties, guarantees, or certifications of any kind. It is up to every user to make sure that all the local regulations, building codes, and health and safety legislation are met. The company is currently testing a new version of the WikiHouse system that will improve the performance and simplicity of the system. The mission of the WikiHouse is to put the tools and knowledge to design, manufacture, and assemble low-cost, low-carbon buildings into the hands of every citizen, community, and business. Lock and Block is a new building system concept that simplifies wall construction while introducing a new composite material that yields superior structural strength and insulation qualities. The base material that the company is calling Envion 20 is a durable, proprietary material made from carbon and hydrogen that according to the company is eco-friendly and manufactured without any dangerous emissions. In development for over a decade, some of the characteristics are high compressive and tensile strength, water resistance, high insulation value, UV resistance, and good sound absorption properties. Blocks are designed to simply interlock together with no special tools, glue, nails, or cement needed. The final connection is made using a post-tensioning system that runs from the footers or slab vertically through the entire wall to the top plate. This holds the wall to the footer, but also compresses the entire wall to ensure all interlocks are pulled tightly together. The system is designed to incorporate any windows, doors, and roofs in the same manner as with other forms of construction. The lock and block structure has integral channels, running both horizontally and vertically through the body, where electrical, plumbing, and utilities can easily be installed. Outlet boxes are cut into the blocks. 
Once the walls are complete, any interior or exterior cladding can be installed. You can nail and screw to lock and block, just as with wood. The blocks will not mildew, rot, or decompose, and they do not attract bugs. Lock and block is durable, reduces labor and material costs, and gets buildings up in record time. The company has already started production and is well on the way to bringing lock and block to the market. Thanks for watching. Let us know what you think down in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button and subscribe for more. Until next time.